Hello, boys and girls. It's Miss Angela. How are you? Can you see me in here? What are we going to draw today? I'll give you one guess. What do you think we're going to draw today? We're going to draw me, Mr. Panda Bear. What do you think? Do you think you can draw a panda bear? I don't think I'll be able to draw in this, so I'm going to remove the head. And then we're going to draw a panda bear today. My goodness, my hair is going to have a bad hair day with all these things I've been putting over my head the last couple days. So let's grab your pencils, your paper. <laughs> Let me see what I can do with my hair because it feels like it's everywhere. Grab your pencils, grab your paper, your colored pencils, your crayons, your markers, and let's get going. Now we're only really going to need a couple colors for today because the panda bear is really only black and white. We'll add a couple more colors just to make them more interesting. But let's go ahead and start. I'm going to grab my marker, and you can use a marker, but you can use a pencil too, so you can erase if you make a mistake. And we're going to start out with his head. Now we're gonna make our panda bear pretty big. We're gonna make him take up the whole sheet of paper. So we're gonna draw kind of a nice round shape up here. But when we get to about here, I want you to come out and make nice fat cheeks. Nice fat cheeks. So it's kind of a little round and then big and fat, fat cheeks for him. And then let's go ahead and just give a little tiny bit more of a bump out. It's gonna be his chin. Let's go ahead and start, let's give him his nose shape. So we're gonna give him, let's just make this just like this. We're gonna make a nose, but we're gonna end it right like that. Just the shape, the top of his nose, because that is just going to be kind of the front of his face, not so much his nose. We're gonna draw his nose right here in the middle. Now we're gonna draw his nose kind of in a bean shape. I guess that's what we say is a bean. And we're gonna go down just like this. And see, we kind of have a bean shape. Now inside of there, we're gonna put a highlight of where the sun is hitting it. So it's gonna stay white in that part. And you know what, while I'm here, I'm just gonna go ahead and color our nose right in. So we kind of know what this is. Because when it's just black and white, it gets kind of confusing sometimes which colors to put when. All right, now we have got his nose. Oh, that is looking pretty darn cute. Wait till this all comes together. You're going to love it. Let's do what we used to do when I showed you before, how to come down when, from an animal's nose. You're going to come down and make a straight line. So we're going to make a straight line, but then we're going to have it go out. And it's not going to actually touch that. If it does, it's okay, but we're going to try not to touch it. And then we're gonna go this way and make another line. So then down here, we will put his mouth. We're gonna have a very happy mouth. He's gonna have his mouth open, just like that. And then we're gonna put that little tongue in there that looks like a little heart, the top of a little heart. So we've got the beginnings of our panda bear. Now let's go ahead and he's got big black fur around his eyes usually. So we're gonna draw that shape and we're gonna come right around and meet right at the top of his nose. And we're gonna do another one right over here. He's coming together. Now we're gonna put his eyes in the middle of that. Now there's gonna be lots of little parts to this eye, so pay attention. If you get, it goes too fast or you don't understand it, turn the tape back and then watch it again. So let's go ahead and make, this will be, I think the blue part of his eye. And then we're gonna do another one over here. And I don't have them perfectly round. They're kind of tipping outward. They're kind of going like egg shapes almost. Then we're gonna put the little highlight. That means the part that we're not gonna color in. And then we'll give him his pupil right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and color it in while we're doing it. That way sometimes it's easier when you see all these circles. They don't, you don't go, what, what's that circle? What's that circle? If you kind of color them in while you're doing it, then it makes it a little easier to see what you're doing. Now I have both of his pupils kind of coming on the inside of his eye instead of out there. Let's see, what do we need? Oh, we need his little panda bear ears. Let's go ahead and make, he's got cute little round ears. Panda bears have little cute ears. So there we go, we got his panda bear ears. Let's go ahead and color them in while we're here. Now I'm gonna color them pretty fast, so they're not gonna be look really good, but I know I've been watching all of you draw and your, your drawings are very, very good. You take your time and color and that's a good thing. All right, there's one ear. Let's go ahead and get his other ear. And I might have to switch markers here with all of this black. It might not 
My poor marker may run out of juice by the time I get done with this guy. All right, so we got his two ears and we're gonna make them all black. Now we're gonna go back and let's do his eyes just so all these lines don't get confusing to us. Let's do not this round part. This is gonna be a different color. We're gonna do this outside the biggest part, his fur, we're going to make it black. And it's going to look like the panda bear's black circles, the black fur around his eyes. He's looking more and more like a panda bear. What do you think? I, have, has anybody ever gone to the zoo and saw a panda bear? They're very cute. I have a friend, Miss Holly, and Miss Holly loves, 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 loves panda bears. She goes to see those panda bears all the time. That's their vacation. They go there two or three times a year just to, to a certain zoo to see the panda bears. I kind of pick on her about it, but it's kind of neat that she goes to see these bears. She loves them. She takes pictures of them, sends me pictures of the panda bears. So this is for you, Holly. I want to see your drawing of the panda bear. All right, let's go ahead and do, let's do give him some big arms. Let's go ahead and just connect him right like this. He's going to have just like, he's a cartoon, so he's going to have kind of cartoon, little fat arms. And then we will do his feet. Let's go ahead and do his feet. And he's going to be sitting. So his feet are sitting right out in front of us, just like that. So this is going to be his feet. So we're going to do big circles. And then we'll do a line right here, kind of just at the top. All right, now we got a lot of coloring to do again. Although, before we start coloring, I want to go ahead and give him a bamboo shoe. Panda bears love eating bamboo. So let's go ahead and make, oh, we'll make a big, long stick like this. And then we'll give it the leaves. They have big, long leaves. So this panda bear is going to be eating a, a bamboo shoot. Okay, we're going to draw in this. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of black on this one. Kind of like when we did the cat in the hat, there was a lot of black on that one too. And down below our bamboo shoot, we'll do that. Okay, we'll get the other arm. Oh my goodness gracious. Do, 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 do. Coloring, coloring, coloring. And then let's do just the top. See how we made the two circles? Can we see this? We should have turned this down just a little bit for us. Oh, a little late in the game, but better than better late than never. All right, and let's do, just do the top of his feet. Because the bottom of his feet are going to be little white ones. Little white bottoms of his feet. He almost looks like kind of a, a teddy bear you'd have in your house, doesn't he? All right, let's go. Here we go, here we go. Not too many colors in this. All right, now, oh, let's do inside of his mouth. I want to do inside of his mouth here, too. Oh, he is adorable. All right, I'm going to do his eyes blue. So we're gonna do this part of his eyes blue just to give him a little more color than just black and white. And we're gonna stay away from our little highlight. We're gonna leave that white. And then we're gonna do another eye over here. It's cute. And we'll do his bamboo shoot. We'll do that nice bright green. Oh, I am really coloring outside of the lines here. I'm hoping you're not seeing this too much. I think I even want to put him in some grass down here because I'm just thinking he needs some more color in this picture. So we'll give him some grass he's sitting on, some grass over here. And you can make it go down as far as you want to. I'm coloring pretty fast so that way it doesn't take up all your time watching me color. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do, I'm going to do the sky blue too. And again, you're the artist, so if you want to add some, a sun, or some clouds, or some more bamboo, maybe he's in a bamboo forest. Maybe you want to add a lot of bamboo to this. Okay, here we go. My hand's going to get tired by the time I'm done with this one. Huh. Okay, take a breath. <sighs> okay, keep going. I'm working on it, I'm working on it. 
Oh my goodness, he is looking very, very cute. Now there is the color that I forgot to get out. It seems like I do this all the time anymore. I forget to get the last color out. So I'm gonna reach over, get close to the camera, and I'm going to get pink, because I want to give him a little pink tongue. So that would be the... There you go, everybody. There's a panda. Can I see what yours look like? Remember, I will see you tomorrow, and I'm going to tell you the same thing I tell you every single day. I want you to be safe. I want you to wash your hands. I want you to listen to your parents. I want you to stay creative, and I want you to be kind. Please be kind to everybody. And tomorrow, I'm not sure what we're going to draw, so you're just going to have to tune in and see. So, I'm going to say goodbye, and I'll see you tomorrow, everybody. Be safe, be happy, and be kind.